Hi everyone. I'm Jan from Pins and Needles in Cleveland, Ohio and SewItOnline.com. So they're kind of giving me an idea. They want me to tell you how to help you to buy a sewing machine. And oh my goodness, I, I counted around here and just looking around here, I think I counted 65 just in our showroom. So I said, it's really hard to figure out what you need and how much do you need to spend. And if I'm going to spend 300, what's the best machine? It's tough no matter what we're buying now, because as you know, the big box stores, Amazon has got product that looks all this great stuff and all this computerized stuff. But whether we know it or not, the insides are not what you need. The insides are junk. So I've learned from problems I've had myself, buying a camera and goofy things like that, that I've done wrong. So what I am into is I only carry the quality machines. So you're not going to get a $200 computerized machine that's all plastic inside that's going to last you a year and you're going to throw it away. You're not going to find something like that, but it's out there. There's sewing machines out there that are $800 that do 200 stitches, but they're not full rotary hook. I mean, good golly, that just makes it impossible. So what I'm going to tell you is give you a general feel. We carry all the brands. We carry all the models. You can click below and you can set up an appointment and myself, myself and one of our staff will go through it and explain things to you for you to understand, okay, I'm on a budget of $400, but I want the highest quality machine. And are you doing garments? Are you doing quilting? Do you want to do free motion? Do you like the decorative threads? What's your price point? Some people want ease of operation. Some people want goodies. So it just kind of depends who you are. There's seven stitches that I make sure you get. I make sure you get the full rotary hook. I make sure you get the solid state electronics. I make sure you get a metal hook system. So those are going to help you difference. I'm going to go over right now, do you want an electronic machine or a mechanical machine? So people come in and say, I don't want all that electronic stuff. Oh boy, oh boy, you want a quality electronic stuff. You may not want a piece of junk electronic stuff, but a quality electronic stuff is going to last you 20 years and it makes our job easier. So that's something to consider. I had a gal just the other day insist she wanted a pressure control because her mom's old Bernina had a pressure control. Well, we don't need pressure controls anymore. It's If you get the right machine, look how much I can go underneath here. Look how much heavier I can get underneath. I can go right over those blue jean seams because I have a full rotary hook, because I'm solid state, and because I have the extra lifter. So that, of course, depends upon which model you buy and which brand you buy. So we have in-depth um, uh, demonstrations on most of these models independently at SewItOnline.com. But just to give you an overview to kind of t let you know that this is all out here. So an electronic machine, let's just talk about that. An electronic machine, there's reasons for it. Number one, what happens is there is 17 needle positions. Now watch. So I'm on a plain straight stitch. It's set up its length. It's set up its width. It's set everything up for me. I don't have to do anything. I can sew. I can do an automatic knot. That's a nice feature. I, I tell you to look at the needle threader because a needle threader is not a needle threader. So when you go online and you start saying, okay, it's got a needle threader on it. Well, let me tell you, it might not be the right needle threader and it might not be a good needle threader. So it really makes a difference as to what you're looking for. Me personally, a needle threader that I can go like this and it works every single time is probably my highest priority, but I'm old, so that's what happens. So when you get into the needle positions, now you say, okay, so on your old machine, you might have had left, center, and right needle positions. When you go to an electronic machine, if you can look right here on the needle, I'm going to put my finger behind, and I'm going to adjust the needle positions. So I've got various needle positions that I can put it on for straight stitch, you see, every time I go. Now, why do they do that? Well, how many times have you wanted to sew a little closer to a zipper, a little closer to piping, want to be able to do your quilt binding and be exactly where you wanted it. Well, let me tell you, I can do that by pushing a single little button. Computerized machines are very, very simple now and very easy. And if you get the right one, you're going to find that you can sit down, turn the button to number 17, do a tri-motion overcast, and it's going to do beautiful for you. So a mechanical machine means you adjust the width, you adjust the length, quality, oh yeah, 
quality, yes, and maybe that's perfect for you. I would rather have you have a heavier duty mechanical machine. If you're spending two to three, four hundred dollars, I'd rather have you have a heavier duty mechanical machine that's going to last you 20 years than a piece of junk electronic machine that's going to break on you. So that's what we do here. We try to figure out exactly what's best for you. The Baby Lock Zest, um, Zest is a sweet machine because it's got a, a great needle thread around it, but it's also got a one-step buttonhole that makes a difference so that you can see. Um, again, all you have to do, if I'm confusing you, is to give us a call, and one of us will go over this with you, one-on-one -on -one when you can concentrate. I'm going to show you a couple things because people come in all the time and they say, my sewing machine's working just fine. Sure it is. It's doing a straight stitch. It's a good old machine and it's going to work forever, but you're missing out. I'm going to reset and move down and just show you something to make you say, oh my goodness. So stay with me. I'm going down a couple machines. I'll be right back.